Hello, how are you doing today? So, you think your posts suck, hey? Or maybe you suck at marketing? <laughs> I hear this a lot. And so, to, I decided after talking to so many people to, to write it out, to make the list, 10 reasons why your posts suck and aren't getting you sales. And, uh, and, I, and so get your notebook. You're gonna wanna take notes for this. And, and in fact, go ahead and hit share right now because if you have a lot of other entrepreneur friends or women in business, everyone's gotta know this. Everyone can improve their marketing and communications. And thank you so much for tuning in. And before I get too far, I will introduce myself. My name is Flora Ware. I am a spiritual life and business coach. I'm an archetypal marketing consultant and launch strategist for spiritual entrepreneurs. And I help women leaders with mindset, marketing, and magic. And that's really what this show is all about, Creatrix Conversations. It's a weekly download of all things mindset, marketing, and magic to help you leverage your impact and, of course, increase your income while you're at it. So for anyone that is in business, you are marketing and probably a lot of people, you may have gotten into business and not realize how much writing was involved. You didn't realize how much content you were gonna have to be creating, written, video, you know, now Insta stories, all of that. It's, there's a lot to do. Hello, Sonia, thanks for uh, tuning in. So, so there's, Without having a background in marketing, without having a background in communications like I do, I have been working in marketing and communications since 2007, I, there's a lot of common traps, pitfalls that people fall into. So I want to share the, the 10 best tips that I have for you to improve your marketing copy today. Are you ready? All right, starting with number 10. You're using stock images. What that is, is you're using like just general images that you've stolen from the internet. <laughs> That's a stock image. And in general, stock images are, are bland. They're not provocative. Hi, Susie. And the funny thing with stock images is that we've actually seen a lot of them again and again. You know, let me know in the comments or give me some likes if you've actually seen some of those same images again and again. And so because of that, they aren't specific to you, to your brand, to your business. And so they don't have the same kind of impact. So the, the lesson here is to use original photos as often as possible. Get professional shots do a professional photo shoot at least once a year. You know, you can't build your brand on selfies alone. <laughs> you wanna have professional photography. I say at least once a year. And the thing is though, we do all have cameras with our smartphones to say, learn how to take great photos with your phone and not just of selfies, but of anything you're doing. You can also use graphic design to enhance your images like Canva or like hiring a, a graphic designer to help add um, interesting elements to the images. So that's, that's number 10. The reason why your posts suck and aren't getting you sales, it's the images, right? We are very visual and in this visual marketing age, you've gotta have good photos. Sonia, I'm sure as a photographer, you have, would have something to add to that as well. But carrying on, since, uh, since we've got, I've got 10 of these to go through today. Number nine. Your posts are too long. They're too long, all right? There's a funny quote that goes around. Good marketing should be like a woman's skirt, long enough to cover the essentials and short enough to get your attention. <laughs> and despite the slightly sexist overtones of that comment, it's easy to remember. People in the digital age now have an attention span of eight seconds. To give you a comparison, Goldfish have an attention span of nine to 10 seconds. That's right, we have shorter attention spans than goldfish now. So <laughs> you, people most of the time do not, they don't have the time and they don't think they have the time, right? It's all an illusion um, to read your longer posts. Have you ever clicked read more on a Facebook post only to have it open up in another tab because it's so long? 
hell no. No one's going to be reading that. <laughs> I mean, of course, you will have some people and in the right time go back and read your longer form posts but that is in some ways a dying art form and it is not for social media right so if long form writing is really your thing that's great you can have a blog write your long blogs and then you can cut them up into smaller social media posts right essentially good marketing get to the point Get to the point. Being concise is key. And so uh, the other thing is if your writing style tends to leave the really juicy parts to the end, most people aren't even reading them. You've, you've lost their attention before they even get to that. So try inverting your posts. What I mean by that is start with what is maybe usually your final question, right? Start with that question. Um, or add, add a headline to your post that explains what it's gonna be about. Then that encourages people they wanna dive deeper. You can, it's called inverting, right? Also use, use paragraph breaks liberally in social, your social media posts so that it's easier to, to read, okay? All right. Sonia talking more about the photography. Of course, I support original photography, but um, a lot of stock photos have beautiful work. Yes, you do need to find the images that relate to your audience. Absolutely. Thank you for that and those links. Awesome. So number 10 was using stock images. Number nine, too long. These are 10 reasons why your posts suck and aren't getting you sales. Oh, and by the way, today's Creatrix Conversations um, is brought to you by my marketing breakthrough call, which I'll be sharing more about at the end. So if you're watching this because you think, oh, I need help with my marketing, um, hit me up because I'm, uh, for the rest of August, I am offering free 30 minute marketing breakthrough calls. Okay, number eight. The, num the reason number eight why your posts suck and aren't getting you sales is you're being too nice. Okay, essentially, uh, polite is boring. Take what I chose to name this live stream, for example. I could have said anything, you know, oh, reasons why your your marketing isn't getting you the sales you want, you know, but no, 10 reasons your posts suck. <laughs> Again, I'm using language that I hear from other people all the time, right? And uh, and also it gets your attention. So there's no need to insult your community or your potential clients, obviously, but you also don't need to coddle them, okay? You don't need to coddle them. You are m most often meant to be a catalyst for, their, for them to change, a catalyst for their growth, right? So be bold, be that catalyst. Um, at the same time, be sensitive and aware. We are definitely in an age where there's a lot of rampant insensitivity around some really hot button issues. So you do want to be sensitive. You want to be informed, but don't be afraid to speak your mind and be controversial, right? If you, if you try to stay in the middle, if you try to be Switzerland too often, again, bland, boring, no one's buying. Remember, again, with this one about being too nice, you're not trying to get everyone to like you, you're trying to get the right people to hire you, okay? I used that affirmation for a while. I don't wanna be liked, I wanna be hired. I definitely saw some shifts in my business once I started using that affirmation. Okay, reason number seven your posts suck and aren't getting you sales is ha you aren't making an invitation. Oops. <laughs> Are you constantly putting out value but never asking for a sale? It's actually an easier trap to fall into than you might think. Um, are you just kind of hoping that even without inviting, people will book a consult call with you? <laughs> That's like announcing it's your birthday and then waiting at home wondering why people aren't showing up for your party even though you didn't tell anyone you were having a party, you didn't invite anyone over, okay? So, of course, we have to be mindful of the rules um, that Facebook and other social media platforms have around selling, right? We don't want to get thrown in Facebook jail, um, but you must like directly invite people in to work with you or to buy your products, to promote what you sell on a regular basis um, to make the sales, 
right? So it's, it's, it's a funny one there. The reason why your posts aren't getting you sales, are you actually asking for the sale? <laughs> Number six, your posts are too general. They're not, if you speak too generally to people, you won't attract people into your specialty, right? So your posts come across as vague interest pieces that aren't in fact that interesting. So example, health coaches can often fall into this trap because they end up talking about general health topics instead of talking about their expertise. Um, you know, if you're talking about, oh, you know, sleep or drink more water or, you know, stuff about digestion, but like you have a very specific niche in, in terms of what you work with, with your clients as a health coach, don't, don't bother with those general health topic posts. They aren't really speaking to the big challenges of your ideal clients. They aren't drawing the right people to you. Um, uh, you know, the, another example is when you share personal or client stories, but without the specific details so that they're just like general, like, oh, around this time I did this or my client experienced this. Give us details. People love stories and they love hearing the juicy bits in those stories. So make sure that your posts are specific um, and fill in those details. We don't want general. All right. How are you guys enjoying this? I'm not seeing a lot of comments or, or reactions, so let me know how this is landing. Maybe I have something funny going on with my, but anyway, I'm gonna carry on. <laughs> All right, reason number five that your posts suck and aren't getting you sales is that you're talking about the features, not the benefits. And this is what I mean by that. This one stumps a lot of people new to marketing copywriting. You end up talking more about the features of your program or offer, your product. That's like what's included, what they get, the bells and whistles, doot, 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 right? Instead of talking about the benefits to your client or customer, that's the results that they want, what they get. Okay, thanks, Susie. So your client, listen, here's the thing. When you talk about the features instead of the benefits, it's like you don't understand the transformation that you give your client. So you're kind of like talking about this is this cool thing that I have or I do or that and this is the cool thing that I sell, but you're not talking about how it changes someone's life, how it helps them. That's what you want to talk about. When you're you, honestly, your client doesn't really care how many calls they get or the length of those calls with you. Um, what they want to know is the changes that they'll get from working with you, right? Um, or the product that you have, how does it, how does it improve their life or, or improve that, whatever the challenges that they, um, that they're wanting, why do they want to buy it, right? Still mention the features, of course, but that's kind of the things that you can leave on your website. You don't really need them in your promotional posts. Your promotional posts on social media, what I'm talking about here are to capture their interest and their enough to say, yes, that sounds like what I want because you've talked about how it's gonna help them to get them to then read more, right? Okay, carrying on. Number four, you haven't offered enough value to establish trust. Sorry, so the simple truth is that it takes time to establish yourself as an expert and to build trust in your audience um, about your products and service, for services. It really does, it just takes time. So if you find that you're not um, selling, then you need to go back to offering value. This, and so follow a three to one rule. Here, it's really easy, follow a three to one rule. Three posts that are all value that showcase your knowledge, your expertise, your unique take on things, you, or, or just sparking interesting conversations. Those are value pieces too. Three of those to one post directly asking for a sale or you know inviting them into whatever it is your offer. So that's the three to one rule. So you've gotta have, you've gotta be sharing a lot more value than you are um, promotion. 
Um, also because people, people start to tune it out. If you're only ever promoting yourself, then that's when it starts to get into when you hear people say, you know, like, uh, like, I just feel like I'm being pushy or salesy. Well, are you, um, you know, cut that, you know, cut that back and, and, and offer more value or spark some more interesting conversations around your area of expertise, of course. Um, but if you remember and this thing, when I say you haven't offered enough value to establish trust, it's, um, it's not just about them trusting you. It's about you inspiring them to trust themselves to trust themselves enough to invest in themselves through your service or product, right? So it's not, when I say trust, it's not just about like people trusting you, like that you know you know your stuff or whatever, okay? You see that difference there? But it's really three to one for your value to your promotion. That's a good, it's a good rule of thumb. Okay, carrying on. I'm just ripping through these here because Creatrix Conversations, my idea is that these are short, impactful training videos. But you know, it just, when I started writing, there was 10. So 10 reasons why your posts suck and you aren't getting sales. Number three is that the tone feels stiff, formal, or inauthentic. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory what that means. Yet so many people fall into the trap of thinking that now that they are trying to sell something, they need to speak differently and in a very formal voice and to say things in ways that they would normally never speak them. <laughs> so, um, honestly, I truly value correct spelling and proper grammar. That's, so I'm going to get that out right at the front. I am definitely still a spelling and, and grammar Nazi for the most part. This is very important, maybe even more so in this digital age. But we, we, we can and we should write like we speak, okay? Because this, this connects us in a better way with our audience. So a few easy tips here um, to, to change up your tone. Hello, Nikki. Use contractions. I'm, your, there. Make sure you're using the right contractions. Um, use popular briefs in your copy. Eh? Eh? See what I did there? A brief? Um, <laughs> you can use emojis, of course. Um, you can use caps for emphasis, right? We can't use bold face on social media, for example. Um, there's different ways like that that you can... <laughs> <laughs> so that you can make it more friendly, not formal, but still um, like communicate in the way in in the in the way that the language that people use, right? Like again, saying that um, the reason that I said you know the reasons that your posts suck is because I hear that for all the time. Oh, I suck at marketing, or like my marketing posts suck. I don't know that. Thanks, Susie. Yeah, I'm 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 feeling funny today. Um, so that's, that's one way. You, if your tone feels stiff, formal, inauthentic, inauthentic to your voice, people just feel it. They feel it and they're kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. The second reason why your posts suck and aren't getting you sales is that you're talking too much about yourself. Ooh, snap, right? Um, your business exists to serve other people. Do not forget that. Um, your products or services help them. And that's what you need to talk about to inspire them to buy. How it helps them, the results they're gonna get, the, how working with you is going to change their life, right? Of course, of course, share your journey, share your insights, your struggles, all of that. Yes, we want, we want personal, we want that, but if that's the majority of your posts, you talking about you, without relating it to how you help others, then you are confusing marketing for digital age narcissism. Narcissism. Yeah, that. <laughs> so here's a simple test. Review your copy to see if you are using I more than you. 
This is for your promotions, right? So look at that. Am I using I more than you and describing what you sell and how it helps people and how you're inviting people in? Very simple way to test your copy. All right. Whew. Finally, we are at the number one reason that your posts suck and aren't getting you sales is you aren't speaking to your ideal client. <laughs> this is the number one reason you aren't actually speaking to your ideal client. You're kind of just talking to everybody and anybody. Um, maybe you're only hinting at um, what you know about your ideal client and you aren't speaking directly to what they're struggling with um, and, and, and how you can serve them. Again, how you can help them. So if you feel like you don't know your ideal client yet, well, do some market research interviews. Market research inter interviews are a great way to connect with people and to ask them ideas and and, um, you know, and to really then use their words on how they describe their struggles um, in your copy. Um, you can also uh, think about your past clients. If you, you know, if you've already had some ideal clients in the past, then think about them and, and, and when you write your posts, speak directly to them in the place that they were at before they started working with you, right? You have permission to repeat yourself as you promote yourself, okay? Because that's the other thing. It was like, oh, well, that sounds like I'm talking about the same thing all the time. Well, yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> you kind of are because you're sharing what you do, how you help, who you are, right? So, so that's the number one reason. Again, it's too general. You aren't speaking to your direct client. All right, I've just given you a huge download on 10, 10 tips and reasons. Oh, Susie, yes, polling your group. That is such a great way to do it. If you have a group, that's easy. You can poll your group. You can also put it out there in some larger groups. Um, I'm looking for this kind of person to do some market research interviews. Who's willing to talk to me and see who bites, right? So again, I said that today's episode, today's Creatrix conversation was brought to you by my marketing breakthrough call. So if you are struggling with your marketing and your communications and you're just wondering, like, what the heck? I am an experienced copywriter, copy editor, and um, marketing strategist that I would love to just get on a call with you for half an hour and, and see see what we can um, identify as being part of your, you know, part of your struggle, part of your problem. I'm going to drop the link right there. Book book your call right now. I really, I have very limited time right now. It's summer. My son, it, you know, isn't in school, all that stuff. So I really have only opened up some limited hours until the end of August. So jump on that if you are feeling like you need a breakthrough in your marketing for your business. And I am so happy to, um, to connect with you in that way. And Creatrix Conversations is here every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific. If you have loved this and thought that these were some good tips, please hit share and share it with your friends. I love seeing the Creatrix Conversations spread its way around and reach the right ears of anyone that needs to hear this today. So thank you so much for tuning. I look forward to connecting with you if you feel like a marketing breakthrough call is what you need right now. And just go out there and and be your awesome, magical, creatrix selves with your business because the world needs your magic. Have a good one. Talk to you next week. Bye.